Kelly V and today we're making another recipe from the banana. Now many times you have a hand of bananas and they all ripen together. So what do you do when you have a whole set of bananas that are just getting ripe and becoming overripe? We're gonna make banana bread. Now it's important to use the bananas that are overripe. When you see your bananas getting like this and they become, the skin becomes dark and also almost black you can still use them. These are actually the best types of bananas to use if we're making banana bread. You need it to be overripe because we're gonna mush it up and crush it up to make our amazing banana bread. So let's go over the ingredients. We have four to five overripe bananas, two cups of all-purpose flour, one and a half cups of sugar. I'm using brown sugar today, but you can use white sugar if you have that three eggs at room temperature, half pound of softened butter. It's important that the butter is soft so it's easier when we're creaming it. Just to add another level of flavor, we're gonna add walnuts to our banana bread. So we're gonna use one cup of walnuts and our spices. We have one teaspoon of ground spice, one teaspoon of cinnamon, one teaspoon of salt, one and a half teaspoons of baking soda and one teaspoon of baking powder and one teaspoon of vanilla extract. Our first step is to crush our bananas. So we have our softened bananas here. I'm gonna show you, you're gonna remove the skin. It's really soft and this is perfect for our banana bread. Now I wouldn't eat this like this because it's soft and almost yucky looking, but when it comes to baking it, oh, this is perfect. And if you have banana and it is ripe and you want to make banana bread and you need it to be overripe, you can actually pop those bananas in the oven for about 10 minutes until the skin becomes dark and then you can use them for your banana bread. So we're gonna crush the bananas and then I'll show you the next step. Next, we're going to prepare our dry ingredients. So we have our flour here. So we're gonna add our cinnamon, our ground spice, a little bit of salt, our baking powder and baking soda together. We're gonna just get all the dry ingredients together. I'm gonna sieve it and I'm gonna set this one aside too. Just make sure everything is fully incorporated. So we would have set aside our crushed bananas. Now we're gonna set aside our dry ingredients. Now we'll go on to creaming our butter and sugar. Then we're gonna mix everything together. Now we're gonna get ready to cream. So we're gonna add our butter and our sugar nice and soft. This is gonna cream perfectly. And then we'll start. going to add our eggs so I'm going to the last one now I always crack the eggs in a separate container before I add it to the others just to be sure that the eggs are okay now we're going to add them one by one to our mixture and we're going to continue to cream now we just need to make sure that everything is at the sides, we're going to take a spatula and we're going to make sure we clean the sides, bring everything down. We want to make sure everything is fully incorporated. Oh, it looks good. It's nice and smooth. I always remember growing up, whenever my mom was baking, I used to answer to get the spatula. And you know why? Because I always got a chance to taste the batter when she wasn't looking. Because she was an excellent baker and I got all of my baking skills, or most of them, from her. Now we're going to add our vanilla extract and we're going to add our crushed bananas. Then we're going to blend again. And finally, we're going to add our walnuts. And once this is in, we're gonna get ready to add our wet and our dry ingredients together. Our batter 
part is finished i would have folded all of the flour in to make sure everything is fully incorporated gave it a little taste just like i did as a little girl and it tastes great no i added i'm gonna add it to a greased low pan and we're gonna bake it for about one hour at 250 degrees Now we're gonna pop our breads into the oven. We were able to get two loaf pans and bake for one hour or until the top is nice and golden brown. Our bread is done. I would have taken it out of the oven about 10 minutes ago so it's nice and cool. And first, let me say it smells amazing. You can look and see it is nice and soft to the touch. Now, the best part is to taste. Now, we're gonna get inside and see how it looks. Just look. You, you can see the nuts. You can see how soft and moist it is. It's just time to taste. Ooh, still a little hot. Mmm. Smells really good. Mmm. Mmm. So delicious. The softness you get from the banana bread is broken up by the texture of the walnuts which gives it a nice crunch it's like a party going on hard and soft all at the same time if you have any leftover overripe bananas banana bread now you need to try it